Should you buy a Kawasaki Vulcan S? Yes or no? Short answer yes. So you can go ahead and close the video now. You've gotten your answer. But no, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna do an in-depth review of the Kawasaki Vulcan S today. I know I've reviewed this bike before, but you haven't seen you haven't seen like say the dashboard and the exhaust sound and the pickup, acceleration, all that stuff. You know, I'm gonna show you all that today. Next thing you guys are probably wondering, what does the exhaust sound like? So let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at the riding position. So I'm six foot, just a tad over six foot. And if you have a look, I've got no issues with my feet reaching the ground in this bike. The seat height is very low. It's like you're dragging your ass across the concrete. The great thing I love about this bike is it's got the adjustable foot pegs. So if you've got a bit of mechanical ability, you can adjust them back and forth depending on your height. It is at the max setting because of my long legs. And as you can see, I'm quite comfortable at six foot. Um, there's no issues there. All right, let's go test the pickup and acceleration and riding excitement of this beast. Let's go! Guys, so if this is your first time on this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for checking it out. As you all know, I love photography, I love making videos, and I love motorbikes. I love to combine everything and make cinematic motorcycle films. And in between, I make vlogs when I don't have time to make films. Anyway, so today I'm just showing you what I love about this Kawasaki Vulcan S. Obviously, we've hit the road. Look at first thing, uh, straight up the handling. Oh man, is the handling good. It's got ABS on it, so you've got no issues when it comes to emergency braking or harsh braking. And it'll save your ass in tough situations. But it's got some amazing pickup. And the sound is just lovely. The exhaust sound is amazing. It actually just sounds like a sports bike when you're accelerating and I really love that. Anyway, so today I'm kind of just heading out to grab a feast, lunch. So this has got your typical cruiser seating position where your ass is lower than the rest of your body. Which for me, I don't like. But a lot of people do like that because it's like you're just sitting on a seat, relaxing at home. Relaxing on a dining table that's capable of doing 160 kilometers per hour. And you know, you know one thing that's funny is that if you're riding a cruiser, people for some reason act all scared around you. They think you're part of some kind of biker gang or something and they act kind of fearful like they won't try and angrily overtake you or anything like that whereas when you're on a sports bike people try and race you and when you're on a learner bike everyone just tries to drive all over you and you know you look like a noob but that's okay because this is a learner bike and you can be a learner biker gang dude oh you're lane splitting for the win so I know in a previous video I said that this bike had a mileage of like 300 kilometers on the tank. But no, it's more like 250 kilometers. So this bike's got the fairly wide tires on it, which allows for great handling around corners. And once again, it's got that sports bike feel, although it's a cruiser, it very closely resembles its brother, the Kawasaki Ninja 650. Same engine, same parts internally, just a different body. Well, there you have it. The Kawasaki Vulcan S. An amazing bike. Should you buy the Kawasaki Vulcan S? Yes, you should. Let me summarize everything to make it simple for you guys. If you didn't watch the rest of the video, it's fine. Thanks for skipping ahead. Let me just summarize everything for you. Oh, hang on. 
Let me just fix my luscious hair. Oh yeah, see my luscious hair. Uh, as you can see my little grey streak there. I know you guys love that shit. You know, it's like, it's class, mate. It's class, pure class. I didn't dye my hair, it's just natural. Anyway, so if you're looking to buy a cruiser, you've got about $11,000 in the bank, Australian dollars. You can afford this bike. You can go out and buy it right now. That's the amazing thing about money. It doesn't discriminate. It doesn't matter who you are. If you've got money, you can do whatever you want. Anyway, so let's get back to the bike. Those are my financial tips for the year. If you've got $11,000 in the bank, Australian dollars, and you want a great, reliable, fast, good looking motorcycle, a cruiser motorcycle, one that is on par with the Ninja 650, then just go ahead and buy this motorcycle. What else is there to say? You've seen what it does, you've seen what it can do. Is it a good beginner bike? Yes it is. We, we, we are flying, yay. Wow, this camera angle looks fucking weird. But personally, I would start on the 250 because that's what I did. Ninja 250, great fun. Probably the most fun motorcycle I've ever ridden. I prefer riding slow motorbikes fast than I prefer riding fast motorbikes slow. All right, I'll see you next time.